Switch. There we go. I got it. See, I'm, I'm, I'm smart. I'm going to remember. I got things. Calm down. What's up, world? Your boy, B to the C, back again for another episode of Rewind Recast. Once again, with my executive producers, Ric Flair and Stewie Griffin. Guys, thank you guys for checking out another episode. Glad you guys really enjoyed uh, Waterworld. For more of those episodes, plus everything else here on the Lando Project, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Hit the bell when you subscribe so you can get notifications for all of our videos. Don't forget to follow me on all social media at The Grind Calls, TikTok, Twitter, Instagrams. You know how it is. Go hit those follow buttons. Come holla at me. All right, so um, our editor, Lila, told me not to wear my chains on the show because it keeps hitting the mic and I'm very animated and I move around a lot. But, bam! Chili Pepper, still on. What up? This week's a good one. It is Shark Week. Shark Week is one of my all-time favorite times of year. All right? I love it. It's up there with Christmas, WrestleMania, and my birthday. And I decided what we're going to do for Rewind Recast, boom. Street Sharks. Street Sharks! Okay, so Street Sharks is an old 90s, like, toy and cartoon, a toy line and cartoon, and it's about these four brothers who become half man, half shark, and they can swim through the, the ground with their fins up and stuff, and they gotta fight off the evil Dr. Peregrine. It's like another version of the Ninja Turtles, but dude, it was so much fun. I loved it, and after seeing King Shark in Suicide Squad, I was like, yo, we have got to get a Street Sharks movie. There has to be one. And so I am going with a Street Shark movie that is, you know, it's gonna be bigger. Uh, it's gonna be live action. Come with me, come on this journey, and uh, let's check out Street Sharks. Uh, it'll be probably coming to you from Warner Brothers, all right? Because, well, Warner Brothers owns Mattel. Mattel theoretically owns Street Sharks, kind of. That is what I kind of tried to look for. Uh, so that's the best I can find is it goes through Mattel and into Warner Brothers. All right, so the first, you know, four characters we're going to do are Ripster, Jab, Streaks, and Blake's Big Shamu. Uh, Big Slamu, my bad. Those are our four main street sharks, the, uh, the Bolton siblings. Uh, they're all brothers in the original, in the original show, but we're making a couple changes here. We're making a few. So we're going to start with the leader of the group, Ripster. He turns into a giant great white shark. Now this one, he's got to be, he's got to have those characters. He's got to have that leading man quality, but he's also got to be a down to earth kind of dude. And you just want to chill with the brother. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is we throwing in Aaron Taylor Johnson. That's right. Quicksilver Come on down. You are now the leader of the Street Sharks, all right? You didn't see that coming? All right, the next one up is Jab. Now, Jab, he's a former boxer. He's the fighter. He's the hothead. He's the Raphael of the group. And so I wanted someone who's kind of sarcastic, someone who can play snobbish, but also has a good look and a good humor quality to him. So Jab, who is a hammerhead shark, uh, is going to be played by Thor's younger brother, Liam Hemsworth. That's right. Come on, Liam. You're coming in to the Street Sharks family. You're going to get yourself a little bit of a franchise here because I'm not thinking just one. I'm thinking multiple films, all right? Multiple films. Now, the other thing I am thinking, we can't just have four brothers, all right? We need to change some things up a little bit. So we're going to take Streaks and change him to a her, all right? Streaks is gonna be played by the Bolton sister, Bobby Bolton, uh, B-O-B-B-I, not B-O-B-B-Y. Boom, see, that was the switch. Streaks is gonna be Alicia Vink Vikander. That's right, Tomb Raider's Alicia Vikander. Uh, I loved her in Tomb Raider. I think she is a great action star. I think we put her in here, let her be a badass in some mocap, as a mocap shark, 
boom. Then she starts getting back up there and everyone starts talking about Vikander again as one of the go-tos. That's where I'm at. Now, Big Slamu, he's the funny one, all right? He is the big, dumb ox of the group. Uh, and he's definitely going to have to be the biggest and the most powerful because he's a whale shark. That's right. So you need someone with a lot of goofiness to him. This is... This is the Michelangelo of the group, but he's stronger. Who's he going to be played by? He's going to be played by Reacher, Alan Richson. That's right. That's a big dude right there, and I think he'd make a perfect uh, big slam move. Now, he was not very talkative in Reacher, but as uh, Dove, is it Dove? Hawk and Dove. No, he's Hawk. He's Hawk. Yeah, not Dove. He's Hawk. <laughs> okay, I got it. I know, I'm here. Minka Kelly's stuff. I got it. Dr. Robert Bolton, their father, uh, who is the scientist. We need someone with a commanding kind of lead, uh, someone that has a great voice, and, uh, you know, someone that can really bring some gravitas to this. Who's that guy? The Vision. Paul Bettany playing Dr. Robert Bolton, the father, the uh, the scientist that helped uh, almost uh, that accidentally helped turn his kids into street sharks. All right. So in the cartoon, uh, B Bolton had a assistant named Lena Mack. Now in this one, we're gonna beef up that role a little bit. Okay. She is now going to be uh, not his assistant, but his equal, his partner professor or doctor i think doctor doctor sounds better dr lena mack played by jessica henwick she's a badass she's intelligent she can do everything i love her you love her boom they also have another kind of goofy assistant kind of guy that uh that kind of just helps out and uh is, is kind of he's like a surfer dude he's funny and uh i don't know really who to exp who, who to kind of liken him to because it's, I don't know he's just he's a goofy character I'm thinking Josh Larson you're coming in and playing Ben's you're the little sidekick buddy of ours and I I think there's no better choice than Josh Larson Josh Larson a long time ago not in a galaxy far far away there was a man and he had a dream of building a family okay a family built around race cars, all right? Built around heists, built around Corona and family. But before he be could become that man, he had to be the Street Sharks commercial guy. And I'm talking about Vin Diesel. That's right. If you don't know this, Vin Diesel's first acting role was a role in a Street Sharks infomercial selling the, uh, the, the toys, the little hand puppet toys and all the other little ones. Uh, and it still remains one of the greatest things I've ever seen. We're looking at Boomer. This is Boomer. He's got the biggest mouth of them all. He's the whale shark. Say hello to that round mound of pound and his power slam. Very deadly. He loves to tenderize the competition before he eats it. Uh, but we're going to bring him in, and he's actually going to be our villain. Dr. Par Paragem. I have a hard time saying that damn name. All right, now he has like two kind of like creatures almost like, again, Ninja Turtles, Rocksteady and Bebop. These guys are Slash and Slobster, all right? Slash is kind of a cross of a uh, swordfish and a human. And uh, he's going to be played by one of the greatest mocap actors that are in the game today. None other than Jamie Bell. You like that, don't you? That's a, that's a hell of a pick, right? Jimmy Bell as Slash? I'm all in on it. I hate this. When do I get my cookie? Well, you're always angry about everything, Stewie. Slobster has to... He, he's, he's like a lobster... In, in the name, Slobster. He's a lobster, half-human, and he's just a mess. He is, he's just big and gritty and goofy and stupid and a mess. So we need someone who can play that. And you know who's the best at it? Boom. Seth Rogen. 
come on, Seth, you're going to get yourself into another comic book franchise. Uh, well, it's not really a comic book, it's a cartoon. Now, the big thing about it is who's your director? You got to have someone that can handle this type of action, handle this type of CGI and big budget films. We're going to go to someone that, uh, you know, Warner Brothers has used in the past and I, so has Disney even, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's done a few, uh, but he has done really good work with Warner Brothers, I know. And he's done uh, Monsters vs. Aliens, Gulliver's Travels, Goosebumps, Shark Tale, and most recent, or not most recently, but the highest on the list to me is Detective Pikachu, Rob Letterman. Um, I really enjoyed Detective Pikachu, and there was a lot of beautiful CGI in that. I loved the characters. I loved um, the story they told, and I think that he can do that with this. You need to mix comedy with the drama, with the heart, and make it work with a Street Sharks type of movie, and you got to have that that CGI too. So I think Rob Letterman has a good good eye and could bring this to life. Now, I don't want to tease a sequel or anything, but uh, who knows, maybe next year at Shark Week, we do a sequel to this. And uh, cause I'm seeing post credit scenes in the first Street Sharks movie, all right? One that sets up Vin Diesel becoming the big mechanical piranha version of the bad guy. You gotta have him in the sequel, baby. You gotta give him, you gotta have a sequel these days. So that's where I'm at. What are you guys thinking? Get down in the comments. Let us here at the Lando Project know who you would want to see in a Street Sharks movie. Do you like my movie? Are you going to see it? Let me know. Do I have a go pick? Get down in those comments. Also, while you're here, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it around with your friends. Go hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell so you can get notifications for all of our videos. And uh, don't forget the Lando Project has our live show every single Sunday morning plus so much more content here on the Lando Project where fandom is celebrated. I'm your boy BC. Follow me on all social media at The Grind Calls, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And until next time.